Hey, I'm Matt Porwall, a documentary cinematographer, and today I wanted to talk about the assignable buttons on the C300 Mark II. There's a lot of button options here, and most of these buttons are reassignable to whatever you find useful. So while I really like uh, the positioning of a lot of these, there's a couple that I want to reassign. So I want to show you how I do that. So the first button I want to talk about is the one shot AF button, which is assignable button number 11. So I'm going to go into the menu and under the system setup, I can go down here to assignable buttons. And here they've broken it down where I can reassign buttons on my camera, on the grip, on the monitor, or even on the remote controller, which is an additional unit you can use with the C300 Mark II. So I'm going to go into the camera and I'm going to scroll down to button number 11, which you can see is pre-assigned as the one shot AF. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reassign this to be my display on off button. And if I come down and select display, now what this will do is when I'm shooting, I have an easy access button that I can quickly toggle through cleaning out the display on my camera to showing all the pertinent information that I want to see. And I find this to be a really useful thing when I'm shooting because sometimes I need to see the information. Other times I want to clear everything off and just see a nice solid frame. Okay, so the next button I want to reassign is number 10. Now, while before I went in and I showed you how you go into the menu, uh, into the system setup and assignable buttons, I'm going to show you a little shortcut that makes it a lot easier to reassign these buttons. If I just press and hold the menu button and then press the reassignable button that I want to change, it brings that up immediately in the menu. So it makes it a lot easier to access that. So as you can see, button number 10 is pre-assigned as push auto iris. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassign this to be my menu. So if I scroll all the way down, we can see that I can assign my menu for number 10. So if I press my button number 10 that I've assigned to my menu, this brings up some frequently used menu items that I use. So as you can see, the first thing that I like to have is my initialized media. I like to be able to quickly pop a card in, not have to search through the menus and clean this card so I can start shooting. So I have initialized both my A and B function as well as my SD card. So the next thing that I've assigned here is my resolution and color sampling. And this is really useful if, you know, on any project, this is one of the first things that I'm going to be setting. So I want to have quick access to that. Next, I have my custom picture preset. And this is useful so that I can quickly toggle between my log two and log gammas. Next down, I have my XAVC proxy recording activations. So I can activate the proxy recording as well as apply a LUT onto that proxy file. And lastly, I have some metadata information I can apply to my clip information. And there's a really great new function applied in the C300 Mark II. So now under my metadata, I can apply a camera index, letter A through Z, as well as a real number, a clip number, and a user defined suffix. So I'm ready for my first shot of the day and I need to initialize my card. So I've programmed into assignable button number 10, my menu. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here with my metadata. And since it's the first shot of the day, I want to go ahead and go into the real number and reset that back to one. And I'm going to go down to the clip number and reset that back to one as well. And now I'm ready to go and initialize my CFAST A. And now I'm ready to go. The next button I want to reassign is the button on the grip unit. Now this button is standardly pre-assigned as the focus guide, but since I'm constantly switching lenses that I'm working with, some work with focus guides, some don't, I want to pre-assign this to a button that I use more frequently, which is white balance. So I'm going to press and hold the menu button and then the button on the grip. And as you can see, button number one is pre-assigned as focus guide. And I'm going to change this to white balance. So I will scroll down, select white balance, and now I'm set to go with that. So next I'm going to change button number one on the camera body to be focus guide because I just reassigned the focus guide on the hand grip to be white balance. So again, I'm going to press and hold menu and press that number one. So I'm going to reassign this from magnification to focus guide. You can see what's really great is here, I'm in manual focus, but it still gives me an indicator as to when I'm actually in or not. So at least I know if I'm close while I'm shooting. One thing that I found extremely useful with this camera that's not pre-programmed out of the box is an assignable button for LUT toggle on off. For example, right now I'm shooting in Canon Log 2, but on my viewfinder and in my EVF, I have a Rec. 709 LUT applied. But by pressing this button that I've assigned as LUT on off, I'm quickly able to see the image with and without the LUT on so that I can judge the exposure and see what the camera is capturing. So I hope this has helped seeing how I customize my menu and my assignable buttons on the camera just to make things a little bit faster and easier for me when I'm shooting. So thanks for watching and please check out our other videos about the C300 Mark II.